Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I am just getting ready for work. I'm running a little bit late because I started to edit my video this morning. It's like 7.05, so I'm not running too late. I'll be on time to work. I'm just kind of having to run around the rest of the morning. So I'm going to do yogurt bowls this week. May do some avocado toast. Um, just depends on how much time I have in, in the mornings, but for sure I'm going to do a yogurt bowl today. So I'm going to go get my fruit and my Catalina Crunch cereal and my yogurt. Probably get some grapes together. Um, I have some carrots and what do you call them? Cucumbers that I left at work earlier this week, but I don't know if they're still good or not. So I may just bring a built bar just in case those are not good, but I can always pack up some more carrots and cucumbers and stuff to take at lunchtime. Um, so we'll just see how those are and if they look very good. At the carrots, I'm feeling okay about. It's the cucumbers you never know, but they were whole cucumbers, like whole little mini cucumbers, so they're probably okay. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm going to go pack up everything, get my protein coffee ready to go, and then we'll be out the door. So I'll show, go ahead and show you what I am packing up to take to work this morning. For breakfast, we are having a yogurt bowl. This is one of the Greek, Greek light and fit yogurts and cherry, one of my favorites. We have some Catalina Crunch cereal. This is the high protein, high fiber um, cinnamon toast crunch. I really wanna get some more of the fruity, fruity cereal. And then we have some frozen fruit. Let me grab this bag just in case you're new to my channel and you're not sure what that is. Here is the Catalina Crunch cereal. It comes in different flavors. I have the chocolate one. I like to use the chocolate one at night, like as a dessert. And then the fruity cereal one is a, one of my faves and it's really good with like this combination. But I have a huge one of these that I got at Costco and I wanna make sure I use up some more. But if, next time I make it to Walmart, I think it's the only one that has the fruity cereal one. Um, so next time I go to Walmart, I may just pick some up just to have it. There's also a banana one, have not been able to find that one. There's also a peanut butter one that I also have not, it's like a peanut butter chocolate, which I have not seen in my stores either. Then for snacks, I'm bringing some grapes and then I'm gonna bring one of these Celsius's um, sparkling wild berry. Then for my protein coffee, we have the um, French roast cold brew coffee concentrate. So literally just take one of these protein drinks, pour it in here, add in some of this. So this is what I'm using to like dilute it. And then I also did add in some of the sugar-free skinny syrup sauces and salted caramel. And that'll be my protein coffee. For lunch today, I'm gonna have some of the chicken and wild rice soup from Emily Bites. This came out super thick, but it's still really good. I ate some yesterday after I meal prepped, and this is one of my favorite recipes. So check out my meal prep video to see how I put this together. Plus I will have a link to the recipe from Emily Bites down in the description box. For dinner tonight, I'm having some chicken. This is some of the real good chicken strips. Forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer, y'all. I have some green beans, um, some roasted potatoes in the air fryer. This is actually a 100% air fryer meal. Um, I have some of this Bolt House Farms Ranch dressing, the fire chili ranch. Absolutely amazing. Highly recommend 10 out of 10 on this dressing, but it is kind of spicy, so keep that in mind. But this was a fantastic dinner. Really good, like I said, 100% air fryer. Good morning, happy Tuesday, y'all. Did I say this yesterday that I cannot believe next week is Thanksgiving already? Like what the heck happened to this month? Um, I am having some cramping. It's almost that time of the month. I actually think it's gonna happen. So I think that'll be two months in a row that I've actually had one. It's just now my cycles are definitely a lot longer in between, which I mean, it's really not that bad. I mean, so that's actually now that my body is getting, you know, what into whatever, new thing this is. I'm actually feeling okay about it. So, um, but I have had some like ups and downs and just a lot of, um, hormonal stuff definitely going on, but feeling pretty good this week. Um, so I'm craving kind of some chocolate. <laughs> so today I'm taking two chocolate things. One thing I did not show you yesterday, I did have a built raspberry puff bar. Um, I also ate some of the veggies that were at work um, with some hummus. I forgot to show you guys that. Um, so the macros and calories you saw yesterday, which seemed a little bit higher than normal for my calories and my like my protein is because I did have some extra stuff I forgot to show you guys. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that. Um, so anyway, 
But that being said, I felt really good yesterday because I ended up with 1,530 something calories, almost 160 grams of protein, and the scale really went down today. And I think I just need to find my sweet spot with that. And I only use 24 out of 24 um, points. So, I mean, I'm, I'm doing really good balancing everything. That being said, I do want some chocolate today. So I'm gonna take the chocolate Catalina Crunch um, to have with my yogurt today. So I have a serving of that. Have my yogurt. Oh, I forgot to get my fruit. So I need to get my frozen fruit. So we'll have that for breakfast. For snacks, we're going to take some carrots. I'm Since I'm, I'm at the office the next two days, I'm just going to take this whole bag, put it in my refrigerator there at work. Also have some tomatoes and then some roasted red pepper hummus. And then I'm, I'm going to take another Bilt Bar. So I need to order some more of these. Although Winco came to our town and it just opened up and I went on the weekend. They sell built Bars, which is the only place I've seen them in town. As far as I know, I haven't gone like into a lot of stores, as you know, so um, they don't have a ton of flavors, but they have some of the flavors I like, which is good. So, and the prices is about the same if you were to buy them online and, but you have to pay shipping online. So it actually comes out better and I don't have to wait for them to get here. So anyway, I'm also going to get protein coffee, same as yesterday, with the Quest Caramel Protein Shake. I'll show it to you. And then my Trader Joe's coffee, and then, of course, some of the skinny syrups. I get a lot of people ask me where I get this. I used to order it online off the Jordan's website, but I don't have to anymore because Walmart sells it now. So check your Walmart, usually by the freezer section, by where, like, the ice cream and those kind of things are at. Okay, I need to pack everything up and head to work. So breakfast, I'll put points, calories, and all that on the screen. Snacks. And then, of course, my coffee, which I'm going to make this when I get to work because I'm running a little bit late today. For lunch today, I'm having the uh, teriyaki chicken sheet pan meal that I made in meal prep. Check out my meal prep to see how I made this. Um, but we have some um, lightly breaded chicken tenders here with some of the G Hughes teriyaki sauce, which I'm going to put a little bit more on that. And then we have all of our stir fry veggies. So this will be my lunch today. For dinner tonight, I'm having taco salads again, topping it with my new bestie, my Bolt House Farms Fire Ranch. We have some protein chips here. The ranch kind of got out of control. But this is just a taco salad with some lettuce, cheese, um, some taco meat, and then some of these Quest chips. 10 out of 10 dinner, really good, very filling. It was fantastic. I thought I would give you guys a bonus recipe in this video. So I'm gonna make some navy bean soup in the crock pot. Um, this is everything that's going into it. So we have some diced up ham, some celery, carrots, um, some onions, and then I'm gonna use the better than bouillon chicken broth as the water for this. And then we need some smoked paprika, thyme, parsley, and rosemary a pound of navy beans, and then just some minced garlic. So measurement wise, we have two carrots, two whole carrots that are diced up, two stalks of celery, a couple of ham steaks. We're gonna use nine cups of broth, um, about the equivalent of about a half of an onion, about a tablespoon of minced garlic, and then a teaspoon each of these, and I'll also add in some salt and pepper, and then a pound of navy beans. And these are just gonna, all of this is gonna go into the slow cooker and I'm just gonna cook it on low all day. Alrighty, everything is in there. So I'm gonna set my slow cooker to low and it's gonna cook for about eight hours. Okay, so the soup is all done. Now the key to make it look creamy, you've noticed navy bean soup normally looks creamy. That is to take your immersion blender and then you just blend a little bit of it. Not all of it, just a little bit to make it creamier. There we go. We have some creamy navy bean soup. And now if you want to make it a little bit thicker, you can just add some cornstarch to it, make it a little bit thicker, but this is yummy. It smells amazing. This will be my dinner tonight. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch my video and I'll see you guys in the next one which I'm going to try to do a um, kind of day in the life or a chatty vlog video one or the other over the next couple of days as we start prepping for Thanksgiving. So I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.